Hi, everybody. It's Kimmy. Give you some little info I have here on a coin called Babylon. It's not out yet. It's on the Cosmos ecosystem. And I've known about it for a while. But now it's gaining a lot of mentions from many different respectable influencers. And I'll tell you why. But before we get there, I just wanted to mention a few things I made some notes about. I've made a call about Pith and about it not being done. And I do think that still holds personally. You, I This is not financial advice. This is just me feeling into things. But for myself, I have actually unstaked it. I did a lot of staking for airdrops and then I'd rather have the liquidity with the price movement right now. So, you know, you look at a coin like Pith, it's an oracle, it's comparable to Chainlink. We're doing the logic here right now. This is an intuitive sharing. It's on Solana. It's new, it has not been in a prior bull run. So it just feels so ripe for like heading out into price discovery, as a few handful of coins did when Bitcoin ran recently. Um, so I don't think it's done. And uh, I think it's worthy of some selling before the having. Also, I'm, I'm recently just putting together, and I'm going to move into another topic about how I saw 38,000. I don't really get prices. I read the energy of coins, specifically my readings are for this bull run and some longer term. So I don't really do a lot of short term action. And if I get it, I'll share it with you guys. Like Pith is one. Troll, troll ran by the time I got that video out to you guys, it had run 32%, but then I don't know what did it go up to 110. If you caught that or you already had your eye on it, awesome. So happy for you all. The $38,000 vision that I got, I saw Bitcoin bouncing up to like 50 and then 38 came into my mind's eye. And then listening to different really smart people that are good at TA talk about typically what happens before having, but there's usually a big retrace. And I didn't know about that. So it could be in line with the retracing that they're talking about that's typically happened in the prior cycles, which is good because I think, what is the math on that? Let's do it right now. So that's like, like a 25, 27% retrace, which is normal for a pre having retracement. They were talking anywhere from 25 to 29%. So that could be what I saw, which is really awesome for many of you who want to buy some alts. Because what's going to happen if Bitcoin retraces 25, 27%, your altcoins are going to go bigger. They're going to retrace 30, 40%, maybe. That might sound a little scary, but we know what happens after having. So there you go. I just wanted to explain what that probably might be. I like to do the left and the right brain, the intuitive matching the logic. Also, I do want to say too, I wanted to make a disclaimer about Picasso and Say, both of which I own. I'm very drawn to Picasso. I saw it and I was like, I got to have some of this coin. It's a low cap gem, which means if it moves, it's going to move fast. And I feel there's a lot of volatility with it, which is good if you're watching your coin and for taking profits and for this bull run. I don't know if it's a coin that I want to carry forward. And like, that's a gut thing that I'm feeling with it. It's like, I don't want to carry it forward into the next possible bear. I don't know if it's coming back. And I don't know why I'm saying that strongly, but I, let's be positive, right? Let's be positive around it all with Picasso. But I think for me, it's a risky one, low cap one, great narrative, good entry. It just ran though a little bit and I like it. I like the degenning. And for Say, I have read this too in the past and I, disclaimer, I do own some Say, I own a handful of it. It's another one I feel the same about. I don't feel it's as volatile, but I don't feel it has that pizzazz that's going to go way into a few cycles. I'm going to let it run and I'm going to sell it. That's what it is to me, this bull run. I'm going to stick by my prediction that it doesn't feel like 
oh yeah, like I want persistence, I want Theta, I want Cardano, like those coins that are the OGs that might not see as much price action. And I know it's very boring for many of you who own those and are carrying them forward, but I treat those as investments. So that's the difference. But I digress and let's head into, oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about memes really quickly too. I'm going to put out some information about memes because you guys are so into memes. I have done so much research on watching videos on people that trade them, their insights about them, statistics around them. It's really gotten me to this place of like, oh yeah, memes aren't bad, but you just have to know how and when to trade them and what other opportunities you're passing up in the meme sector by holding on to certain ones too long. There's a guy, I'm going to put it in the description of this video. I think his name's Saeed, who has an incredible channel. He teaches you how to trade memes, especially specifically on Solana. And He's so full of great facts about trading memes and doing really well doing it and how he does it. He's even got a course. I'm going to create a little mini course, like a one that you can buy just on my website. It's like it's a handout of all the different things I've learned. It's going to be a couple bucks or whatever. He's got a $1,500 course. Um, but, you know, if you have the money for it, go for it because he knows what he's talking about. So um, there you guys go. Those are just some things I wanted to clear up before we went into Babylon. And sorry for those of you who are just here for Babylon and you had to listen to that. So this is the second time I have attempted to read Babylon and I just wanted to do it two times to make sure I was very thorough. But it's a coin that's not out yet. It is on the Cosmos ecosystem. So we're looking at the restaking narrative here. And nobody else, I believe, has done Bitcoin restaking. As you can see, I heard about this through Cosmosito like maybe three or four months ago when he was interviewing different developers and their upcoming coins. And then suddenly I wrote it down on my list. I was like, I got to read this. There's something really special about this. And then all of a sudden they're doing interviews on, I watch all my channels to hear about what's going on out there and what's popping up in narratives. And there are a lot of people watching this coin. There's a lot of people really interested in it. I was feeling it's going to come out the gate just hot. Like how Tia did when I looked at it in my mind's eye and I just let all the information come and it was like, oh boy, all eyes on this one. It's almost like a tad of a cult following is what I felt before it comes out. And I don't know when he's planning on getting it ready to deploy. There is going to be like Babylon's the future, that kind of buzzing by influencers. And uh, all that adding up to if you're lucky enough to get privy to it at that time. I think it's going to be amazing for you because I feel like it comes, like I said, it just comes out hot and it's very positive in the beginning. I kept seeing a branding iron, like where they brand horses, cast iron skillet. And I saw a chef like cooking in the kitchen with a cast iron skillet. And the word iron kept coming to me for some reason. And then I was drawn to the sizzling pan. It was like searing and hot. And I was like, okay, there's definitely like this hot, like this is, there's heat here, which when heat in Chinese medicine, because I come from an acupuncture standpoint, heat rises. For those of you at that time, when it comes out, I'm not going to like have expectations that I'll be lucky enough to get an airdrop or even an as an American, we don't get a lot of privy to early tokens. The thing that came up twice, though, is even though in the beginning it's hot and there's so much attention and so much mania around it because there's nobody else that's doing this, it's almost like there are some glitches. Like when you look at the foundational part of Babylon, there's like some type of hiccup or maybe minor glitches that take place after the rollout that maybe makes people a little nervous. So I heard it's rocky for a little bit until it gets going. So it's like maybe if you want to stick with it through that, like after the launch and then things get settled. If things are shaky, like in that department, it's almost like the feeling was it might not be something you want to ditch. And so that's good for me if like I hold it. It's something I think Spirit was just saying, hold on to it. If you really like this narrative, if you really feel solid about this coin, it's almost like I can compare it to, remember when Solana first came out and it went down a few times? Everybody was so crazy about Solana. 
But then when it went down a few times, it got a lot of criticisms and then people bailed on it. But then here we are with Solana, right? And I know it just recently had another crash for a couple hours. I heard Babylon is a terrific project. Iron, they took me back to the iron and they said solid. That was the other comparison to that cast iron pan. Yeah, it definitely feels like a solid project. Um, the third thing that was really important to Spirit was saying, you know, it's innovative. They're the first to it, but not just keep in mind if you like restaking of Bitcoin. I heard this starts something and sometimes just by being first, it garners attention and notoriety. But then again, think of AOL.com. Like just because you're first to something doesn't mean that you're still on top. And so they wanted me to like tell everybody to stay open. So there's this feeling of openness, trust your own guts around this. But there's almost like there's some other project that comes up behind it and does it better. So we should take our scope of feelers and see what Babylon does and what it brings in. So Celestia started something, the modularity, but then there's other blockchains that are coming through with modularity. And it's just like that same feeling. Um, it starts something. So there you guys go. There's Babylon. I feel good about it, but then I also feel really good about making sure to keep my eye out for something that might come up behind it that does it better. I love Cosmos. So you know, it's on Cosmos. So there's that trade off for me. Okay, everybody, um, like and subscribe. It was a pleasure reading for you. Um, if you have a particular coin or project that you want Lorena and I to read, uh, let us know. We can't get to everything. And our apologies. We're just um, reading things that come up that feel like we're supposed to read them for you. If you want a private reading for a coin that you want read, both of us do that. Or you can make a donation to us and we will push up your requests to top priority. All right. Thanks. Have a great one.